In today's video, we are talking about Apple recent stock split and why I've decided to buy the stock to be added into my dividend portfolio. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Abdul. On this channel, I talk about dividend investing and personal finance. If this is your first time here, pause the video, go and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that you could get more videos like these every single week. Welcome to the second week of the dividend investing challenge. Let's go on to the computer to see what we have for this week. As you guys can see, the portfolio is sitting at $205.73, which means we have a total gain of $5.75 so far, uh, which is a 4.54% total gain so far in the portfolio so not so bad the markets are doing pretty well and our portfolio is doing well so like I said in the intro this week I decided to add Apple uh, into my dividend portfolio and I'm just gonna take you guys through my reasoning for why I decided to pick Apple and if you haven't heard recently Apple just decided to do a Ford one stock split and what that means is that for every one stock that you have before a certain date, Apple is gonna give you an additional three stocks to make it four. But the value of your stocks doesn't change, meaning that you are actually not gonna have way more money than you had before. It just means that you're gonna have more shares of Apple stock, okay? So currently, let's say if the uh, cost of the stock, which is around $440 right now, but let's just round it down to, down to $400, right? And on the date that they are gonna add an additional three stocks right so when they do add that three stocks and now you have four stocks what what is going to happen is that each of the four stocks is actually going to be worth $100 and one of the reasons why Apple they decided to do this is just because that they believe that it helps to keep the stock more affordable for regular individuals like you and I because a lot of people they want to buy stocks usually and they want to buy it in even numbers, okay? So if you want to have like 100 shares uh, of Apple stock, usually, uh, and currently since because it's at $400, you're gonna need, what, $40,000 to be able to have 100 um, shares of Apple stock. But if they uh, divide it up and each stock is now worth $100, then you're only gonna need $10,000 to own 100 shares of Apple stock. So that's basically the gist of this stock split so again let's go back into the portfolio um, and let me show you guys this week uh, the activities week I deposited another hundred dollars right here um, and then I placed an order for the Apple stock and that was executed let's see what day that was yeah so that was executed on the 4th which was two days ago as of this video and at that time the price was uh, $434.39 currently the price of uh, the stock right now is $440.25 I'm more interested in Apple not because of the growth of the stock but more so the dividends okay so when we let's go to Seeking Alpha if you go to seekingalpha.com they have um, a lot of detailed information about different company stocks so let's say we put in I put in Apple right now and we go to the dividends as you guys can see their annual dividend that they um, expected to get this year is three dollars and 28 cents so if you own one share this year you would have made for a whole year you would have made uh, three dollars and 28 cents okay and um, the reason why actually I mean another reason why I decided to buy uh, uh, Apple stock apart from like just the fundamentals is also this date right here it's the ex dividend date so which is um, uh, August 7th 2020 so you need to own this stock by this date before um, yeah, you will get the dividends the next dividend. so you need to have this stock by this date so I bought my stock on the 4th so yeah I'm good so and then on the 13th of August 2020 that's when they are gonna pay out so on the 13th of August if you own one share of Apple stock you will get 82 cents 
okay i know it doesn't sound like a lot and on top of that with the 82 cents i'm not actually gonna get a full 82 cents because i only own about 120 something dollars so which is about one fourth of the apple stock right now so i'll probably get somewhere between like 20 cents for owning this apple share uh before this date so i'll own it before uh, august 7th 2020 and so uh, that's one of the reasons but again let's go to the other reasons so that usually people will look at the dividend yield and usually you would want it to be somewhere in the two percent range but with apple because they are such a good company they can get away with um having slightly lower dividend yield so currently their dividend yield is about 0.75 percent which is somewhat lower but not like it's not too bad you know and if you look at their five-year growth so their dividend has, has been growing and 10.45 uh, percent and they've been given dividends consecutively for the past seven years so you can even look at it over here if you click dividend history right on dividend history let's go to here we have five years right now let's go to all time so this is what I, one another part that i usually look at when i'm looking at the dividends uh the stocks that i'm going to pick for the dividends okay so when i look at the dividend uh history you see that it is consistently if you look at the trend it's consistently going going upwards this way it's going upwards you know over time i mean there has been like slight dips or going back but not too much overall if i were to draw a trend line you will see it slowly going up so which means um that's another good sign so actually they came out they beat their um quarterly earnings so they even with the pandemic going on apple still managed to make a lot of money which um is a good sign that the company is still doing well um people are still buying their products so those are just like some of the um things that i look at when i'm looking at which dividends i mean which stocks to buy for their dividend growth so apple like i said the dividend yield is not like the best um in terms of like the percentage wise but it is a really safe company it's a blue chip stock you know so and right now because the portfolio is very uh, is very low i'm trying to make sure that i um cover my basis and make sure that uh, a lot of the a lot of the companies are like strong blue chip companies to find as the foundation as the base so that's why i've decided to get uh, to, to buy apple this week so again on this channel like i said my goal is to share this journey with you guys hopefully it inspires some of you to also get into investing um either dividend investing or just other growth type of investment that is uh, the most important thing is to just take the first step my goal is to make sure that i can provide as much value to people as much as possible i am also learning as well so um this is not someone who knows everything it's just i'm just sharing my journey with you guys you know so if you have some information that you would like to share with me leave it in the comments down below and let's get the conversations going question of the day what are your thoughts on the apple stock split let me know in the comments down below and that is all that i have for today uh as you guys know on this channel the motto is to always keep the ball rolling but before i let you guys go make sure to do me a solid go like the video subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and until next time stop waiting start doing and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video peace and love to all of you out there Mm-hmm.